In this video, we will set up a dedicated server in OVH. Once logged into OVH control panel, click on bare metal cloud, then click on dedicated service. Then you will see list of all your dedicated service. Click on the dedicated server where you need OS installed. In this case, this is the server where we need OS installed. Click on the server. On this page, you will see the server specifications like model of CPU, RAM and storage etc. Under system OS you can see not installed and that means no operating system is installed on this server. To install operating system on the server click on the three dots right side of system OS then select install. We have three options here. Install OS from OVH templates uh, second option is install one of your templates. This if you have a template already uploaded. Install from custom image. We will go with the first option. Install from OVH cloud templates. Click on next. On the screen you need to select Linux. I want the Linux CentOS 8 installed on this server. So click Linux. CentOS 8 is the second option. I normally prefer Ubuntu or Debian but on this server we will install CentOS because we need cPanel control panel installed on this server. Currently we have two choices CentOS 7 or CentOS 8. We will go with the CentOS 8. Click on customize the partition configuration. Click next. On the screen you need to configure the partitions. Slash boot partition is now 512 MB. We need to increase this to 2 GB. For this you need to free up some disk space by reducing the size of slash partition. To change the partition size click on the pen icon on the right side of the partition entry. Put a smaller number for the partition size. Click on the tick mark to save. Once we set proper size for other partitions, we can set this partition to use all available free space. Now change size of slash boot partition to 2 JB that is 2048 MB. Click on the tick mark to save. Next we need to increase the size of SAP partition. We will go with the 10 GB SAP partition. So enter 10,000 and click save. Now let us resize the slash partition and make it use all free disk space. Click on edit. Then instead of manually putting disk space, click on the expand icon. That will use all free available disk space for slash partition. If you look at the top black bar, you will see it is full. Click on save. Click on next. Here you can specify server host name. I will leave this empty for now. We can set host name later. Click on confirm to start the installation process. Next screen will show you the installation progress. You can click on minimize. Installation will continue in the background. On the server information page you will see a message. Your operating system is being deployed. This operation may take 10 minutes. Once the installation is complete, your server will be booted on the selected disk. If you want to see the server installation progress, click on the link that says click here to view its progress. No need to keep this open. You can close it and installation will continue in the background. Once the installation is finished, OVH will send you an email with the server root password. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe for more videos like this.